Good morning, YouTube. How is everyone? I just got up. I'm having my lemon tea. I'm so good. Okay. I'm going to respond to a tea's video. Matter of fact, I'm listening to it in the background. I've already watched it twice. Um, take three, what should she do, leave or stay? And I'm going to just be blunt about it. I hope this camera is right. I had to make it in here so I won't have that, that glare. Should this young lady leave or stay with her husband? Okay. You know what? I want to start out by saying this here. We always think that the grass is green on the other side. We do. We think it's green on the other side. And guess what? It is. Especially around the septic tank. Around the septic tank, the grass is always greener. Let me tell you something, honey. I don't know who the young lady is, Mr. Tia. Oh, hey, Mr. Tia. I'm sorry. How you doing, girl? But anywho, um, I don't know who the young lady is, but I will tell you this, ma'am. You need to stay with your husband. I'm not going to send you to no counseling with your pastor. I'm not going to send you to no prayer session. You don't even need to go through all that. You need to stay with your husband because it is the right thing to do. And, I, and I, I've heard a lot of comments, a lot of people, I've watched some of their business and oh, love is um, a wonderful thing to be in. Yes, love is a wonderful thing to be in, not lust. Love and lust are two different things. And if you're stepping outside of your marriage, you're operating in lust, not love. You said, Miss Atia, that the young lady, her husband treats her well. He's good to her. Nothing's going on. I don't know if they have children or not, but he's treating her well. So if, her, if your husband is treating you well, ma'am, and you're still stepping out on him, guess what? The guy that you're with now, you're going to step out on him. And guess what? He does not respect you. The, the guy that you're sleeping with or, or the guy that you're with outside of your marriage, he does not respect you for the simple fact that he already knows you're dishonest. And he can already tell you have a character issue because you're not faithful to your husband. You don't think he's looking at that? Yes, ma'am. He's looking at that. And he does not respect you because he knows you cheating on your husband. So what makes you think he don't think that you're going to cheat on him? Yes, ma'am. That's right. And another thing, he has a character issue also. Because if he's cheating with you and you're married, what makes you think... Once you get with him, he's not going to um, cheat on you. It's going to happen. What, what we need to do when we're in these situations here, we need to get somewhere and sit down and find out what is it in me. What is it in me that makes me unsatisfied at home with a good man? Girl, you know how hard it is to find a good man? You said he's good to you. How hard is it to find a good man? We got a good man. We need to sit down and find out what is it in me. There's something going on within you, honey, that's, that makes you go outside of your marriage. Because guess what? Once, if you leave your, a good place with your husband and go with him, you're going to cheat on him. It has nothing to do with the treatment. You understand? Because if your husband treats you good, he's treating you good, and you're still stepping out, that's not the issue. The issue is not the good treatment. The issue is something within yourself. What, what's getting ready to happen? You're getting ready to make a mess out of your life, baby. Yeah. And you're getting ready to destroy your marriage. You know what divorce rate is now? Uh-huh. How do you know this man that you with doesn't have HIV or AIDS or something? Because he has no character. So it doesn't marriage doesn't mean anything for him. So I'm going to tell you. You need to stay with your husband. You need to end that man, and you need to end that relationship because it is no good. Point blank, it's not love. It's lust. Let me show you what love is. And yes, I'm reading the scripture because that's the only word, place we can find truth. You can't find truth in the in, outside in this world. You can't find truth in yourself. You can't find it in your emotions. The Bible says that love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous. 
It does not brag and it is not proud. Love is not rude. It is not selfish and does not uh, does not get upset with others. Love does not count up wrongs and have been done. Love is not happy with evil, but is happy with the truth. Love is patient, accepts all things, it always trusts, always hope, and always remains strong. Love never ends. That is love. Lust, on the other hand, is the definition of lust is intense, excessive, or unrestrained sexual desire. An overwhelming craving. You just want you want it so bad. Intense eagerness or enthusiasm to have an intense desire. That's lust. There's a difference, baby. Mm-hmm. There's a difference. So what you need to do, sweetheart, get somewhere. Sit down somewhere, find out what it is in you that makes you want to step out on a good man. Because that that, that's not even the issue about him being good or not. It's something that's in you, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to save you an appointment with your pastor. I'm going to save you some prayer time. That's what you need to do. And seek God. Ask God, show you how to be a faithful wife to your good husband that he's given you. Show you how to do that. Because if not, you're getting ready to start messing up your life and other people's lives and whoever he's involved with their people's lives. It, it, it's, not, it's not real. This, this thing that, you know, we're in, all of this cheating and going on, it's a fantasy. It's not real. You need to look behind the stage of things. Think about it. People can tell you they've done it. When you go out on, on your husband, uh-uh, it's not going to last. You're just setting yourself up for failure, baby. And as a friend, I will tell you, stay with your husband in that relationship and find out what's going on with yourself. Be blessed.